What's so up guys, it's Juno. Welcome uh, to another Pokemon Showdown Live. And this is going to be a little disjointed because I'm actually in a Yu Yu Room Tour. And uh, I've gotten decently far in the tournament, so I figured, you know, it'll probably be easier to just do that. And uh, it'll be a little bit more formal, I guess, and hopefully higher competition. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, um, I'm here with this cool team that I built that I'm going to be using for this week called Malibu. Um, nicknamed after the song by Mac Miller because, you know, I was, I'm listening to... I have been listening to that song a lot lately, and um, originally this team is supposed to be a Mamoswine team because Mamoswine is supposed to drop um, to Yu Yu when May comes round, and uh, so that's the team right there. It's actually really cool. Um, I've like theory monded out 100%, but um, seeing as Mamoswine hasn't dropped yet, I decided to make a few changes because I wanted to use it now. So anyway, uh, we have Malibu, the uh, Rhyperior here, uh, Rhyperior here, <laughs> uh, with Stealth Rock, Ice Punch, Stone Edge, and Earthquake with a little bit of a weird EV spread, but it's enough to easily chew a plus one Outrage from Ments, and uh, it takes on Mega Pidgeot with ease, only taking about 30% from Hurricane, meaning it does get uh, three switch-ins um, no matter what, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, ample time to weaken Mega Pidgeot. So, um, then I also have Air Jordan, because Air Jordan on my flip flops. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's just basically lum basically Lumberry, Lumberry DD Mints um, with Iron Tail to break down um, Florges, because I, the, the goal of the team is to either clean up with Scarf Hera or sweep with Mints. And if I can get damage off with Iron Tail and get rid of. Uh, Florges, um, then Heracross can have a field day later. So, DD, Outrage, Earthquake, and Iron Tail. And then we have a cheap, or keep chiefin, uh, the Entei. Um, Choice Bandit, Entei, pretty standard. I, one of the, kind of one of my staples in UU, but I really like it. it helps break down fairy types, um, weakens grass types that would otherwise threaten that. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, Sacred Fire, E Speed, Stone Edge, and Flare Blitz. And then we also have a uh, Chasing Gangsters, the, uh, Specs Rotom Mo. Uh, Volt Switch, Leaf Storm, Thunderbolt, and Trick because I have an epiphany for um, offensive grass types. Um, if you guys did see my last RMT, which some of you may not have, I pretty understandable if you didn't. Um, I'll link that in the description below um, because I actually got up to like 31 on the UU ladder using Life Orb Offensive Tangrowth, which is a super fun mon. Um, and it made me appreciate how much I like offensive grass types. So, added Rotomo, also because Brennan wanted a team with one. So, Full Switch, Leaf Storm, Thunderbolt, Trick. Um, and then we also have Crobat here, which is also pretty standard. And uh, despite how standard it is, like, it's really good. Like, it's basically here to stop fighting spam because uh, Shao is a pretty big threat to this team, considering it can just click high jump kick and pretty much two it KO something after rocks. So, Bird, you turn Taunt and Roost. I normally have Defog, uh, but the guy that I'm playing next... Um, let me make sure this battle's not over. Okay, the guy that I'm playing next, I think I'm going to play this guy. And... Uh, Taunt actually helps me a lot more um, versus his team because it stops Trick Room. So, yeah, that's what that's for. And then we also have uh, Heracross, um, Close Combat Megahorn, Knockoff, and Stone Edge. Uh, standard Surf Cleaner. I decided to go with this over Mian Shao um, just because I feel like this team lacked a lot of like setup potential and it's pretty good at overwhelming um, a lot of teams because once it like. If you get a kill with it, then it's like, okay, like, where's your plus, where's your banded Hera check? And if Mence and Entei have done their jobs, then those are weakened. And, uh, you know, all, all around just a good time. Then it gets the plus two and just things come in and they die. So, pretty standard spread right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pause it until we uh, finally get a battle over here. And this tour battle finishes, so... Um, you know, overall, I think it's a really cool team. We'll see how it works this week, and uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. All right, um, looking at this guy's team, he has uh, Scarf Darm, I think. Um, pretty potent core right here. That's going to be kind of hard for me to break through, not even going to lie. Um, although Scarf Hair looking like it can put in the work so um right here i'm probably just gonna go and lead with crobat um if he does end up leading with dormanitan i do have a couple of pretty safe switch instances first of which being Rhyperior. Rhyperior, even though i do know he has the eq saw that last battle he ends up leading with this which is just fine uh i can click u-turn this may be specs i actually don't remember um hopefully he'll be scared out by the uh threat of the u-turn um 
Oh my lord. Um, and <laughs> hopefully he's scared because like the name of this thing is I'm the bomb. So actually he doesn't switch out. That's disappointing. Um, random fodder sim. <laughs> so I think right here I'm probably just going to go into Entei. Because um, as amazing as Entei is this battle, it's actually not. <laughs> it's good at weakening this, which is always nice. But I kind of have to find other ways to weaken. Oh god, that did a lot. Help me. Um, I'm gonna click E-Speed right here. He'll probably switch out into Suicune, um, but that doesn't really concern me at all. Actually, he just sacks Espeon, which is super helpful, because Espeon's actually a pretty big threat to my team. Um, if he goes into Darmanitan, then um, not actually that much of a problem. I'll probably just stay in and E-Speed, to be honest, or I'll go into Crobat, because um, I don't need... Uh, I don't need the thing. And did someone tag me? Or... Um, my bad. Alright, <laughs> sorry, I, I was trying to get like the screen dimensions right for the battle, because I um, have to be in the chat room to stay in the tour, so. Um, Glossius forgot about East Beat, that's unfortunate. Um, we'll see what he goes into right here. If he goes into, he goes into Suicune, this is fine, um, because I have Rotomo just chilling right here. And I can just start firing off Specs T bolts. This is gonna do a lot to whatever he goes into. Uh, he actually just CMs. Um, so there's like kind of a mind game right here, because if I do click Trick and he goes out into Gudra, then uh, I just gave Gudra Specs, and I'm not actually sure that's something I want. Um, so I'm just gonna click Volt Switch right here, not really expecting him to stay in. Um, if he does stay in, then that's really unfortunate, um, and I'll just have to come back in later, because like he won't switch out for sure if. Uh, if he stays in right here. Like, I, I know that sounded weird, but if I come back in later with Rotomo, I know he'll stay in, so I can just trick it off then. Um, I don't really lose a whole lot. Um, don't really lose a whole lot by doing that. So, am I taking Leaf Storm or T Bolt? Well, um, okay. Th this was clearly not the competition that I was expecting for uh, this level. Um, so, there, sorry about that. But, you know, it's just sometimes the way it goes, I guess. Um, I know this has T-Wave. Um, but does he have anything to take on an Outrage? Um, Outrage will really, like, donk his team, to be honest. Um, because his switching will be Aggron. And as long as I don't get hurt, then uh, that's okay. So, um, stop PM on me, fam. Um, stop. Alright, um, I could go into Rhyperior here and get up my rocks, because I, I, I think I'm actually going to do that after much digression, um, because I am bulky enough to take any one hit, um, while this checks Darmanitan for me, uh, not quite sure if he's going to want to stay in here at the fear of an Ice Punch or an EQ, um, because he looks like Max Spadef AV, uh, cause, you know, like, I know that's a resisted hit, but, like, I'm a Specs Rotom, um, so we'll see what he decides to do right here. Um, hmm. He could go out into Chestnut or this thing, or he could just choose to drop Draco or a Muddy Water right here. That's really what I'm fearing. Um, but I am Solid Rock, so I will be able to take that pretty well. He does end up going out into Chestnut, which is fine. As uh, I'm just going to make a hard switch out in a Crobat, because I feel like he's going to go for the Drain Punch. Um, as he ends up going for the lead seed, so good play on his part. I'm going to make the immediate double into Entei, though, because um, Entei then, then can click Sacred Fire on the spiky shield. Yeah, that's what he goes for. So uh, now something is taking a Sacred Fire. Um, I could try to keep up momentum and go out into Suicune, or go out into uh, Rotom Mo, which is my Suicune check, which actually wouldn't be a bad play, to be completely honest. Um, keeps up a lot of momentum. If he tries to stay in an Elite Seed or whatever, that doesn't really help him. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll see what he does. Um, if he makes the play of going out into Gudra, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, but maybe not insanely so. He does end up going for a Spiky Shield right here. I could dump off my Choice Item right here if I really wanted to. But I don't want to do that yet, I don't think. So, I'm just going to go ahead and click Volt Switch. It's not really an issue. Um, it's not going to do a lot. Like, that did a quarter. You're not quite as strong as I had originally hoped you would be, um, but I'm going to go out into Crobat right here, and the reason I'm going to go out into Crobat is because I can uh, threaten his team pretty well. Um, he ends up going for the Poison Jab, so I'm eating that up, and 
I can go for a roost right here on the spiky shield, probably. Actually, do I lose anything by, cl by clicking Brave Bird? Um, I suppose you never know when you need the extra, like, 12 HP during the battle. Um, so, I'm probably going to go ahead and click Brave Bird right here. As tempting as it is to just double, um, I'm just going to click Brave Bird. So, um, if he spiky shields, which, like, he has no reason not to spiky shield. Good play. Um, not really that big of an issue, because now he knows I'm going to Brave Bird, and I can just go ahead and click U-Turn. Um, I know he'll go for the Leech Seed if he does stay in, so uh, that's good for me. I end up, end up picking up some free momentum, the freest momentum of my life. So I can go into my Entei right here and click Sacred Fire, because even if I, like, e even if I don't burn him, it's like it was still where it missed. Sick. Uh... <laughs> That's that's actually horrible. Um, I'm gonna go into Rotom Mo, so then I can just fire off a Specs Volt Switch. He'll go for like the Heavy Slam probably, or he may just try to get his rocks up. Um, but I'll try to get a free pivot into my. Uh, what do I even have for this? Guess I kind of have that, so I'll just go into that. Um, I'll just click T-Bolt right here, I think. Um, Specs T-Bolt should 2 a KO, right? Right? We're gonna... Actually, no, I'm super light. He's just gonna destroy me with a Heavy Slam. Um, e okay, that did a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to Rhyperior right here, uh, even though it sucks because it's not gonna be that healthy. Um, as it takes an Avalanche. Yum. <laughs> Eating it up. And... I'm sorry I said that. I can go over the EQ right here and uh, just straight knock him out. Um, uh, yeah, th this was not as good as I was expecting. Um, as far as content goes. So, may just scrap it and have the last battle, the versus um, the Cacturn one. Um, oh, actually, no, that, that kind of makes sense. Avalanche does make sense. Um, because then it, it's not set up fodder for mints, which otherwise is kind of a problem for his team, because once he gets the plus one, it's like, things just start dying, so, um, you know, it's fine. He, he, he's not, like, horribly incompetent, so. <laughs> anyway, he ends up going out to Chestnut right here, which is perfectly fine, um, as I am probably going to go out into Rotomo to take this thing on, um, because Rotomo can take a Leech Seed, or he's going to go for the Drain Punch, so I'm going to go into Crobat either way, because um, I don't really feel like I lose anything by it, um, as he goes for the Poison Jab, which I'm going to eat that up, and now I'm going, or I'm not, I'm not going to take a whole lot from that, I'm just going to go ahead and click the Roost right here, uh, get back some HP, um, before, like, I, I'm, I'm going to try to roost on his spiky shield, because I feel like that's going to be his play right here, or he's just going to straight switch out, but go ahead and get pro play real quick. Um, so I can Brave Bird right here, it's not actually an issue at all, <laughs> and because if he stays in, then Chestnut is down, and that's very, very good for me. If not, I can just U-turn the following turn, uh, pick up some like pseudo-momentum, and uh, he does end up going back out into Mega Aggron, as that will not be able to kill, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the U-turn right here. He'll probably go for the Avalanche, or he's going to go for the T-Wave. Either way, I feel like Rhyperior is my safest switch, um, because I need Rhyperior the least in this battle. Um, but now it's looking like if Mance gets the plus one, this is an easy win. Um, Right here, I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Um, actually, no. Ice Punch is a pretty horrible play. So I'm going to go for the EQ. Um, because even if he switches back out into the thing, Chestnut, um, I do have switch ins to that. And it's not really that much of an issue. So um, he ends up going for the Heavy Slam. And um, look, Red Rapier is pretty fat. So he's going to be able to take that. Look, look, at, look, look at that. Look, look at his tail. Like, how, how much do you think that weighs right there? Um, yeah, the... the He's been kind of getting worked this battle, not even going to lie. Um, if I hadn't missed that Sacred Fire, then uh, it would have been just complete and utter destruction. <laughs> uh, Cactroon um, is the person I play next. So, you know, ho hopefully I'll win that one. Um, may also record that because he's pretty competent, I know. I know that. Um, I'm gonna go into uh, Rotomo. No, Rotomo could be a choke. 
crit really big choke. Actually, what's a sweet on? It's a full. Um, I'm gonna go into I'm the bomb uh, right here, the crowbat, uh, because I can take this thing on. Even if he does leech seed, which he does, he misses, unfortunately for him. Uh, so I'm just gonna click Brave Bird. To be fair, I missed fire. Um, because even if he likes spiky shields right here, it's not really an issue. I can just Brave Bird, then U turn, pick up momentum, uh, and kind of repeat the cycle. And that is kind of the cool thing about this T. About this. Has he missed it twice? I don't think he did. Did he really miss it twice? Um. No, that is not what I meant to do. Command F, um, leech seed. Uh, can't leech seed grass. Got him. Sweet. Um, so, uh, I mean, yeah. That, that's kind of the cool thing about this team. It accidentally, accidentally kind of turned into this Volt Tourney core-ish. Um, because it does, yeah, that, that's just going to straight die right there. So that's very good that that's out of the way. Um, pretty much opens the door for, uh, Mence 100% now. All I gotta do is get up a DD versus, like, this locked into fire move, maybe? Actually, I'm gonna go out into Malibu, because I think Malibu is my best play. He'll probably just, uh, flare blitz here, because the game is pretty much over for him. And, uh, I can at that point click EQ and, uh, just get off some damage versus whatever comes in. As he ends up going for the U-turn, good play. Um, if he goes out into the thing, the thing being Suicune, I'm going to go out into Rotom because, you know, I don't really lose anything by it. Um, I can then proceed to Volt Switch, do a good chunk of damage. Um, we'll see if he goes straight away for the Scald. I feel like his best play is the Scald and Fish for a Burn, um, but of course, I'm not the one uh, running, running the show right now for him, so... Uh, he is going to go straight away for the Calm Mind, and I'm actually going to T-Bolt, because um, I want to do some damage to this um, before it can set up a lot. And he's going to go for the Ice Beam, and that hurt, but it will not kill me. Um, so, Chasing Gangster is actually putting in a lot of work. Um, pretty glad uh, Brennan convinced me into using this thing. Uh, was going to do, like, 10 growth or something, um, but this thing is definitely a lot cooler. Uh, it's also, like, keeps team building pretty fresh. Uh, fresh. <laughs> Um, I, I can probably just sack this thing if I want. Uh, actually, I'm going to go out into, uh, yeah, I can just sack this thing. Uh, because if he goes for the Draco, then he gets the drops, and this is definitely over. So, he'll probably just go for the Ice Beam, though, because that is his best play. And at that point, yeah, l look at that nice T-Bolt damage. He goes for the Dragon Pulse, and I can just go into Heracross right here. Click Close Combat. When he goes out into Darm, then I go into, uh... Rhyperior, and that will go ahead and uh, be the match. <laughs> Brandon providing the comic relief as per the usual, and he is actually gooey, so I basically got a V create drop right there, but it's okay. Um, he goes into Jolly Roger, um, like I said, going right back out into Malibu. So, you know, I, despite the fact that my opponent may not have had like the most optimal sets, like I still felt like he was semi competent enough. Um, with Crocoon and whatnot, and, you know, Gudra's not a horrible mon. Uh, he just goes straight away for the Flare Bliss. That did nothing. Didn't even burn me. Got him. Uh, so I'm going to pick up the pretty easy 4-0 right there, and uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, uh, have you guys ever used Rhyperior, and uh, what are you guys' experiences with it? It's a cool mod. Haven't used it enough, but... With that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.